once upon a time, long ago, a beautiful lady that lived in the castle on the lake above.
longer nor I can tell you. I draw them, and beyond the memory of the oldest in the village. At last, the people began to think it must be a fair, for what else could it be? And no hurt, no harm, was ever put on the white trout. Sinners and soldiers came to these parts.
and when he thought one side was done, he turned it over to fry the other. And what would you think? What the devil the taste of a barn was wanted at all, at all? And sure, the soldier thought it was a queer trout that could not be riled. Little thinking what was in store for him, the haven. Well, when he thought that sight was done, he turns it again, and draw him behold you, the devil a taste more done that side was nor the other. Bad luck to me, says the soldier. But that baits the world, says he. But I'll try you again, my darling, says he, as cunning as you think yourself. And so, with that, he turns it over. But not the sign of the fire was on the party trout. Well, says the desperate villain. For sure, sir, he was a desperate villain entirely. He might know he was doing the wrong thing, seeing that all his endeavours were no good. No. 
guard me and not disturb me in my duties, is she? Well, he trembled like a dog in a wet sack. And at last, he stammered out something and begged for his life and asked her ladyship's pardon and said he didn't know she was on duty or he was too good a soldier not to know better nor to anyone. I was on duty then, says she. I was watching for my true love that has come in my water to me, says she. And if he comes while I'm away, and that I miss him, I'll turn you into a pink king, and I'll hunt you up and down forevermore while grass grows or water runs. Thank you. 